Welcome to Disk Management Windows Server 2008 Part 4. Uh, now we're going to look at how to actually mirror a volume. We'll first start by creating a volume and we'll make it 250 meg and we'll format it. Now this is a primary partition but when we right click on it and we select to add a mirror what the operating system will automatically do is convert it over to dynamic disks and that's what it's doing right now you'll notice that both of them just went to dynamic and they're resyncing now from time to time when you do like software upgrades uh, what you might want to do is actually break the mirror uh, breaking the mirror actually gives you two identical as you can see it created an F drive from the E drive but two identical drives or volumes. I'm going to go ahead and delete one of them and then I'm going to add the mirror back. And I'll just say add mirror and again it'll go from basic to dynamic and resync its contents over. So breaking a disk is pretty handy when you want to upgrade something but have a fallback copy near the line right online. So let's see the same thing with the CLI we'll list the disks, we'll select the disk, we'll create, actually we'll convert the operating system first to dynamic and then we'll create a simple volume again of 250 meg we'll format it assign a drive letter then what we'll do is actually select the second disk because we need to actually convert that to dynamic as well let's list the volumes select the volume that we want to add a drive to and we'll simply put in add disk and in this case it will be two and it will create a mirrored volume now if we want to break the volume we can simply type in break and then the disk that we want to break it off on which is disk two And now we're back to the previous example where we had two separate disks of the same content.